Hi, I'm Elaine Ruiz. And I'm Kayla Mendez. Today is Friday, March 15, 2019. Welcome back to Braddock TV. Here at Braddock, our teachers do more than just teach. This week, we take a look at a project that's sure to grow student interest. Here's Vanessa with this week's Spotlight. Recent studies have shown that anxiety and depression levels among teenagers have increased due to bad eating habits. This has led students to have a lack of motivation towards their educational careers. In hopes of resolving this issue, G. Holmes Braddock Senior High School has begun to create gardens to promote a healthy lifestyle. The Garden Project not only teaches students how to live their best and healthiest life, but it also teaches them the techniques to share that healthy lifestyle with their community. Our wrestling season is over, but our team still shines. Here's Lucas with this week's sports. Some normal high school sports stereotypes include the big football team winning state championships, or the basketball team that can be called miracle workers, or the baseball team that has a star in the making. Here at Braddock, however, we don't confine to those stereotypes. Well, at least our wrestling team doesn't. Their long history includes being second in all of Florida in 2003 and having 11 individual champions ranging from 2001 to 2016. Sergio Hernandez, the first individual wrestling champion for Braddock, is now currently a coach for the wrestling team. Since 2003, Sergio has been working alongside Coach Tejada to train them to wrestle at the highest level they can. I remember wrestling live in that first practice and I could barely breathe, but I remember thinking at the end of it that I had never felt like that before. I'd never been pushed like that. And, and Coach Tejada, I mean, he, he uh, believed in me, um, even when I didn't believe in myself. Braddock's wrestling team consists of 14 weight classes, with one wrestler representing each weight class, from Frank Lopez at 106 pounds all the way to Mario Lorenzo at 285. Over the last four years, the wrestling team has seen a recent downward trend, yet this hasn't stopped the team from climbing back to their former glory. On February 9th, the wrestling team was at GMAC at Ronald Reagan High School in Doral. GMAC, or Greater Miami Athletic Conference, is one of the biggest competitions in South Florida, foreshadowing most of the wrestlers who are going to place in the state championships. Braddock finished the competition with 92.5 points, ahead of schools like Ferguson, Coral Gables, and Coral Reef. They are now prepping for their upcoming state series, which includes districts, regionals, and state championships. <laughs> Just like every other high school sports team, there's always going to be constant changes when it comes to the roster. However, what coaches can do is instill certain values to their kids. Coach Tejada always tells every wrestling team one motto, NGNG, standing for no guts, no glory. With this motto, he ensures to every team that no matter what happens on the mat, that they should always finish strong. Coach Tejada will be excited to lead a new team with new freshmen who are eager to earn their place on the wrestling boards and hopefully get their name on the state championship banner. 
Recently, our country has been buzzing with political chatter. Here's Rebecca with World News. On January 5th, the leader of the National Assembly in Venezuela, Juan Guiado, proclaimed to the world that he was the true and rightful president of Venezuela and told all Venezuelans to protest against dictator Nicolás Maduro. Maduro, who was brought in to be president after the death of former president Hugo Chavez, responded back to the protest with a show of military force, state television showing pictures and videos of Maduro training and speaking with the army. The U.S., Colombia, Brazil, Paraguay, Peru, Argentina, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Canada have all publicly backed opposition leader Guiado. On Sunday, an Ethiopian airline flight went down with all 157 people on board shortly after leaving the airport in Ethiopia. It was found that the plane took off with an unstable trajectory, which is being investigated as a possible cause of the crash. The flight data and cockpit voice recorders were recovered, but there were no survivors. MAX 8 is the type of plane that crashed, and many other known airlines like American Airlines and Southwest Airlines use MAX 8, and they continued to fly them the following day. The Federal Aviation Administration is conducting an investigation to find out the cause of the crash and as of now have not reached any conclusions, therefore will not take any actions yet. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. And tune into our YouTube channel on Fridays at 10.15 for new episodes. And remember to make it happen with, with Braddock TV. TV.